First at six, Uber is making some strong claims about some of Austin's cab drivers. The popular ride-sharing service claims it has turned away drivers the city of Austin approved to drive cabs. Uber released that information today as it fights regulations proposed by the Austin City Council. KXA investigator Robert Maxwell is the only reporter to get an advanced look at a memo that was just sent to the Austin mayor's office. Rob sent about an hour, hour and a half ago, Shannon and Robert. The memo breaks down Uber's own audit. It comes out in the midst of a debate over whether drivers for transportation network companies like Uber and Lyft should have to undergo fingerprint checks, just like city cabbies do. Uber claims its findings are proof of the city's background check processes, that they're flawed. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Welcome to Uber. Uber just opened this driver support center in East Austin. It's where wannabe drivers hand over social security and driver license numbers, and a week-long nationwide criminal background check begins. So far, Uber boasts 10,000 drivers in the Austin area, and Uber bosses say some of Austin's current and former cabbies are jumping on the rideshare bandwagon. Uber audited 163 applicants who also have had a license to drive a taxi or limo in the city since 2012. Red flags came up on 53. Of those, Uber contends 19 applicants failed its check due to criminal offenses like DWI or hit and run. But it's important to point out Uber's audit doesn't reflect if someone on that conviction list is still driving cab in Austin. It's also unclear whether they were convicted of a crime after receiving their taxi driver license from the city. And while this memo went to the mayor Tuesday, Uber has no plans to share the drivers' names or the actual audit. To, to sort of prove that these numbers are, are for real? For privacy reasons, we can't disclose that information. Again, there is a process for third-party data requests. Councilmember Ann Kitchen chairs the city's mobility committee, and she says a cabbie's conduct post-conviction can factor into their obtaining a city license. In other words, someone with a DWI on the record could still get a taxi driver license if they show good behavior. We reached her Tuesday via FaceTime. People are not allowed to drive for taxis that have got not gone through a rigorous process that includes determining if they're eligible to drive. And more on this, even though the city of Austin requires fingerprint checks for its taxi drivers and other ground transportation providers, those checks only look for a criminal and driving record here in Texas, not nationwide. Uber won't tell us if any of the convictions it found in its searches happened here in Texas. And the big problem Uber managers say overall they have with fingerprint checks, background checks, is that they may only show the record of someone's arrest, but not necessarily a conviction. And Robert and Shannon, those operators say that could mean fewer people signing up for these rideshare services like Uber and Lyft. All right, Robert. Robert, thank you very much. The city of Austin also gave us a little more insight into their background check process. Officials look at an applicant's criminal history. If they think the potential driver is at risk of committing another crime, they don't let them pass. Also, if there were other convictions that led to probation or parole, city officials make sure at least 50% of that time has been served. And when it comes to learning about a driver's arrest, it's actually up to the driver. They're required to report arrests to the taxi company they work for. In addition to Austin, a number of big cities are insisting they run criminal background checks on drivers for companies like Uber and Lyft. According to a City of Austin report, Houston, San Antonio, and Dallas all do background checks on drivers for ride-sharing companies. The report also found New York City and Chicago do their own background checks. But some areas do leave it up to the individual companies. That includes Washington, D.C., Seattle, and the entire states of California and Colorado.